are we now exactly? Uh, right now we are on the biggest uh, square in the world, uh, Tian Tiananmen Square, it's really the biggest square in the world. So you have, over there you have the National Museum of China, just behind you have uh, Mao Zedong Museum, where it's still uh, lying on. Yes. And on behind that you have really the most beautiful uh, probably uh, thing here around it's a forbidden city it's really something that you have to, to watch at and take time for hours to visit it in the morning early morning when nobody is in it's beautiful that's yeah. that's something really special to start from from such a place for a cycling race yeah it's a kind of uh, champs elysees here in china you know uh, they blocked all the roads, they blocked all the public uh, out of the square and that's pretty amazing. I was here a few weeks ago, and a few days ago, sorry, and it was people just standing like that, each other, and, and here nobody, just us and the cars. You know China pretty well because you have been a national coach from 2002 to 2004. Yeah, that's right. I was in uh, Laoshan actually, pretty close to the track. It's 20 minutes from here. Um, yeah, so I know pretty well the, the place, but uh, it changed a lot. Uh, in between 2004 and now, uh, there are some quarters that I, I didn't recognize anymore. Do, do you think this race is good for, for Chinese cycling? I don't know. It's, it's really difficult to say because, you know, uh, cycling in China is not a sport. People do not recognize it and uh, I, I had a few talk with uh, some people here in the public uh, and it, they had no clue about the, about the race. They know that there is a tennis event but about cycling they, had, they really have no clue. So I don't know if it's because uh, the government didn't communicate about the race or uh, I don't know what's going on. And, and a few years ago when you were the national coach, how was the, the level of Chinese athletes? Ah, it's pretty complicated because they do only five, six races per year. They almost never go out of the country, except for Asian game and sometimes if they have a chance to be qualified for, for the Olympics, but that concerns only few athletes. So, um, they, have, they have to restructure the way how they are organizing cycling here, if they want to have a good cyclist.